In today's episode, we come across one of the grandest buildings we have seen to date. Standing out in a modernised area of a city centre, originally this 200 year old structure was designed as assembly rooms for some high societies, but it has hosted many users over its lengthy period of activity. After closing before the century's turnover, the ornate site has suffered from dry rot and water damage, meaning it is in a poor condition. This meant that we were looking for the highlights throughout its deteriorated shell. The property's location caused a bit of bother during our infiltration. It sits in a populated part of the city, so we only had a small gap to complete the difficult route inside. We were exploring in a group of three with half of the excursionists, whose channel you can find in the description, but due to the tricky entry, we were the only ones able to succeed in the visit. Right, so we've just got into this place and immediately just look at the architecture like this is insane like it really is stunning but we've just got to walk down this scaffold in there and then we're into this main room and there's several other rooms to look at as well A glorious ceiling, detailed coves with figures all around and a trifecta of chandeliers lowering over this ballroom made it an incredible space and easily the main attraction of the building. When the site was constructed in the early 1800s, each room had to impress new visitors and although most of the property hasn't retained its original design as we will go into later, this hall had done. You could almost see the staggering history between each layer of peeled paint. Look at all the curtains on the stage. They definitely went for that royal effect. What I've heard about this place is that um, during World War Two, or it might have been World War One, there was a big fire, and all rooms apart from this one were badly uh, hurt by it. So this one is almost the only surviving room of the original uh, structure, and all the other rooms were rebuilt. The few vast halls that the structure contains were first used for subscription-based clubs up until the 1960s. Here, dance parties, assemblies and meetings were organised. In 1941, at the start of the Second World War, a bombing caused major damage across the roof of the famous site, and every original ceiling minus the ballrooms were ruined. Therefore, they were reconstructed based on the architect's beginning ambitions. The structure's final use started in the 1960s as it was used by the local Irish organisation that hosted music and drama performances with various on-site bars. Following relocation in the late 90s, the building has become derelict and struggled to find a new use for more than two decades. Look at the size of these doorways. I don't know if it picks it up on camera, but they're so big and grand. And you just keep walking into rooms with architecture and details like this. the old mules on the wall. Wow. Each bar boasted unique architecture, so there was a choice if someone wished to hire it out for an evening. Oh, there's spiderwebs going in, hitting me and stuff. No one's been behind this bar in a long time. Looks like someone's destroyed all, or at least most of the kegs as well. This is where the, um, is it the beer bottles would come from? 
this kind of small lift. I'm pretty sure that's what it would be. They'd be down in the basement and then they'd come up to the kitchens where I'm in now. And obviously, we'd go back to behind the bar to be served to people. It's a bit of a shame from what we've seen so far, there isn't really much left behind. It's just a pretty bare shell. It seems like construction's been going on. That floor is pretty bad. But it's still an interesting building nevertheless. It's definitely worth it for the architecture. So what I'm assuming by all of the piping on the floor and kind of the signs of construction, like these newer wooden fences and the likes of stuff that's been scrapped from the floor as well, that construction was going on at this place, but then you can see by the, even the newer fences are still decaying, so it obviously didn't go far before they neglected it. Maybe because they ran out of funding or, I mean, you can never really know. But this place is left half, half rebuilt, I guess you'd say. It is not surprising that the Grand Halls are listed as a building at risk, as well as the natural deterioration, vandals have stolen lead from the old fashioned roof, enabling a quicker progression of water from rain to the ballroom floor. Have you found anything like left behind in any of the bars? Is that it? Yeah. It's more the architecture in it, it's one Yeah. That's the only highlight, really. Oh, wow. That is one beautiful dome ceiling. This was formerly the main entrance, a circular room with another opposing style to the rest of the bar. Old notices are still on the board that show events that might have never taken place. It's such a pretty room. I wish I could see it with the lights on or with a bit more lighting. But I don't really want to shine the torches at the moment because of the open windows. We're in quite a busy area, which is probably why we didn't film anything until we got in. Look. It's the old projector. Various plans have been suggested, such as changing the vacant space into a science hub, yet as we were discovering, most regeneration schemes appear to have failed. Over £100,000 has been spent on the tightening of the complex to prevent further damage in the hopes that restoration could take place in the future. Hopefully some newer signs of renovation, like the scaffolding staircase in the ballroom, means that some successful work will be taking place. This is yet another one of those buildings that we would love to return to after it's been restored and given new light. Here are some of our photographs from the historical structure. If you like the look of them, check out our Instagram page in the description where you can see pictures of the places we visit months before we post them on YouTube. Next time. From somewhere as immense and grand as the bar to a location tiny in comparison, in our upcoming episode we are visiting a house which has been left with everything inside it. Thanks for watching our latest video, keep your eyes peeled on the giveaway for 10,000 subscribers that is happening very soon. Hope you enjoyed this work and we will see you next time.